Hi, I'm Dr. Jared Gardner, and I'm a pathologist. I also teach medical students. And um, I made a kind of inspirational post in um, our class, uh, our med school class Facebook group recently, and one of the students said, you should record these. Well, that was really nice. I thought that maybe actually other students could benefit from hearing my thoughts on, on certain things about, about career and, and school and life and all that stuff. So I don't know if this will work for you or not, but I'm gonna give it a go. And if you like it, um, please leave me a comment down below and let me know if this, if this works for you, if it helps you. So, you know, big exam coming up in, in medical school and all through school, that's a stressful thing sometimes. And I think uh, for med students, especially so because uh, the amount of knowledge that you have to learn in medical school is enormous. It's like people have said, it's like drinking out of a fire hose. And I think that's a really an apt description. There's just so much stuff to learn and the amount of stuff to learn grows with every passing year. It feels like there's no way to know it all. It's overwhelming. And um, I think that also there's this intense pressure to get good grades and to make good uh, USMLE step scores because that's what you need to do to get into a good residency. And because uh, as med students, your whole life has been spent so far making good grades, making good grades through high school to get into good college, through college to get into med school, and now through med school to get into residency and fellowship. Uh, that's like your life's work is making good grades. But look, grades aren't everything. Let me tell you, do you know what I made on my first exam in my second year of med school? I have no idea, I can't remember. I, I don't even remember what I made in, in some of the courses I took in med school. And you know how many people in, in practice have cared about what my grades were in med school or what my USMLE step score was? Like almost zero, almost no one ever asked me about that aside from my application to get into residency. And even by the time I applied for fellowship, most programs didn't even ask for my USMLE score. Maybe that's not true for all specialties, but what people cared about when I applied for fellowship was the most recent thing I did. How did I do in residency? Was I writing papers? Was I going to meetings? Was I involved? Did I have good letters of recommendation? That mattered to them so much more than what my grades were in med school or what my scores were on exams. So it is important, and I'm not telling you to blow off grades, it's important to make good grades and it's important to make a good step score because currently those things are really important to match into a good residency program. Now I'm personally not convinced that um, how someone performs on a, um, an exam necessarily correlates with the kind of doctor they are, but that's a different story and we can talk about that another time. But regardless, you have to do those things. There are hoops you have to jump through to be able to practice medicine in the United States currently. But what's so much more important than the grades is doing good patient care. And as a med student, it's so easy to get focused on the test and the grades and the exams that you forget that in the long run, the whole point of this is not to make you good med students, it's to make you good doctors, to make you good physicians that will take care of sick people one day. And this uh, hard, difficult part of med school is part of the process of becoming a good doctor. And also some of it, even the, some parts that seem stupid or ridiculous maybe uh, right now, they're hoops that you just have to jump through if you wanna take care of sick people. And um, I think though, when you, when you can see that light at the end of the tunnel and recognize that there's something beyond all the tests and that's being able to be there for sick people sometimes on the worst day of their life and being to do what you can, even if you can't cure them, but to heal them and help them and to treat them the best that you can, um, that's a, a priceless thing, that, a very special thing we get to do as physicians. And um, it's a heavy weight and a heavy burden and a long road to get there. But those moments where you really get to make a difference in someone's life are, are amazing. They're priceless. Um, when you know that you spared someone from an amputation they didn't need, or when you figured out what was causing them pain and suffering and you were able to fix it or at least treat it and no one else had figured it out before. Those moments, sometimes they're few and far between, but those moments for that patient, you made an enormous difference in their life that they'll never forget. And um, I think it's hard to see that when you're in school, especially when you're in the first two years of med school and you're not having uh, direct patient contact, but that's the kind of stuff that you have to focus on and remember this is why you signed up to be a doctor and the tests are important, but they're not, they're just a means to an end. They're not the end game, they're not the end goal. They're just um, a stepping stone to get you to be a good doctor and to get you into residency. And beyond that, people will forget about them. No one cares what my scores were. No one cares if I was in AOA or not. No one cares what my step results were. No one cares about any of that stuff now. What they care about is, am I doing good patient care now? Am I contributing to my field and my specialty and uh, to the betterment of the world in my career now. 
and and I'm doing my best to do that. And there are days when I leave this hospital and I'm overwhelmed, I'm stressed, I've had a hard day, difficult cases, fires to put out, problems to deal with. I've got cases that I'm still working on that are complicated and I haven't figured out yet and that I've got to wait until tomorrow to finish those. I've got a million things left on my to-do list and I feel overwhelmed and I pretty much every day tell myself as I walk out of the hospital, the patients that I cared for today, I did my best to take good care of them, to treat them like I'd treat my family, to do good medicine and good patient care. And I did my best to be present and supportive and to teach my students and residents and fellows. And I can go home and be at peace with myself when I know that. And I have to remind myself sometimes that all the stuff on the to-do list, that's like my version of grades, right? It's the stuff I'm worried about that, yeah, I need to get some of it done, but it's not the reason I'm a doctor. It's not the end, the end result or the end goal. It's just stepping stones along the way. And in the great span and arc of your career, your grades and your step scores will be vapor. They'll be meaningless. No one will care anymore. So work hard, study hard, do a good job. But if you stumble, if you have a rough day, if you have a bad test, if you feel like it's overwhelming, we've all been there. We've all had those times. I've had those times. Everyone does. It's normal. It's part of the process. And you're going to get through this. So take a deep breath take a five minute walk or something, or you know, do some yoga, whatever it is that you do to try to, to take care of yourself and give your mind some peace and then hit back at it. And remember that you're not just doing this to get a score, you're doing this to take care of sick people. And for me, um, that is what gives me great peace, knowing that I'm making a difference, maybe not in a ton of lives, but in some lives every day, I'm able to help and do some good. And that's something I can look back on at the end of my career and be proud of and thankful for. I won't care what I scored on my, my step or what I made in med school or what my class rank was when I retire. I'll care that I took care of patients and that I treated my students and my residents um, in a way that helped them and made their career successful. And hopefully they'll have careers as, as happy and successful um, as, my, as mine has been. So I hope that this little, uh, little bit of inspiration helps make your day a bit better. Again, please leave me comments. If you like this, if you want more of these things, I'll do more. Um, uh, if it helps even one person and everyone else dislikes it, that's cool too. As long as somebody's getting help from it, then, then it's worth it um, in my book. Uh, thanks for watching. Good luck. Hang in there.